Jeremiah 17, Judah's sin and punishment. The sin of Judah is in, inscribed with an iron chaser, engraved with a diamond point on their stony hearts and on the corners of their altars. Even their children go to worship at the pagan altars and Asherah poles, beneath every green tree and on every high hill. So I will hand over my holy mountain along with all your wealth and treasures and your pagan shrines as plunder in your enemies as plunder to your enemies for sin runs rampant in your land. The wonderful possession I have reserved for you will slip from your hands. I will tell your enemies to take you as captives to a foreign land, for my anger blazes like a fire with for my anger blazes like a fire that will burn forever. Wisdom from the Lord. This is what the Lord says. Cursed are those who put their trust in mere humans, who rely on human strength and turn their hearts away from the Lord. They are like stunted shrubs in the desert, with no hope for the future. They will live in the barren wilderness and in an inhabited salty land. But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. They are like trees planted along a river bank with roots that reach deep into the water. Such trees are not bordered by the heat or worrying by long mounds of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruit. The human heart is the most deceitful of all things and desperately wicked, who really knows how bad it is. But I, the Lord, search all hearts and examine secret motives. I will give all people their due rewards according to what their action deserves. Jeremiah's trust in the Lord like a partridge that hatches eggs, she has not laid. So are those who get their wealth by unjust means. At midnight, they will lose their riches. In the end, they will become poor old fools. But we worship at your throne, eternal high and glorious. O Lord, the hope of people, all who turn away from you, will be disgraced. They will be buried in the dust of the earth, for they have abandoned the Lord, the fountain of living water. The O oh Lord, if you heal me, I will be truly healed. If you save me, I will be truly safe. My praises are for you alone. People scoff at me and say, What is this message from the Lord you talk about? People scoff at me and say, What is this message from the Lord you talk about? Why don't you all why don't your predictions come true? Lord, I have not abandoned my job as a shepherd for your people. I have not urged you to send disaster. You have heard everything I said. Lord, don't terrorize me. You alone are my hope in the day of disaster. Bring shame and dismay on all who persecute me. But don't let me experience shame and dismay. Bring a day of terror on them. Yes, bring double destruction upon them. Observing the Sabbath, this is what the Lord said to me. Go and stand in the gates of Jerusalem. First in the gate where the king goes in and out. And then in each of the other gates. So say to all the people, listen to this message from the Lord. You kings of Judah and all you people of Judah and everyone living in Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says. Listen to my warning. Stop carrying in your trade at Jerusalem's gates on the Sabbath day. Do not do your work on the Sabbath, but make it a holy day. I have this command to your ancestors, but they did not. Listen to or obey 
They stubbornly refuse to pay attention or accept my discipline. But if you obey me, says the Lord, and do not carry on your trade at the gates or work in the Sabbath day, and if you keep it holy, then kings and their officials will go in and out of these gates forever. There will always be a descendant of David sitting on the throne here in Jerusalem. Kings and their officials will always raid in and out among the people of Judah in chariots and on horses, and this city will remain forever. And from all around Jerusalem, from the towns of Judah and Benjamin, from the western foothills and the hill country and the Negev, the people will come with their burnt offerings and sacrifices. They will bring their grain offerings, frankincense and thanksgiving offerings to the Lord's temple. But if you do not listen to me and refuse to keep the Sabbath holy, and if on the Sabbath day you bring loads of merchandise through the gates of Jerusalem, just as on other days, then I will set fire to those gates and the fire will spread to the places and no one will the fire will spread to the places and no one will be able to put out the roaring flames. This is the word of God.